What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we have a pretty chill video for you guys. We are going to be playing couples agree or disagree. <laughs> Now, we have 10 questions. Uh, they're pretty controversial, so things could get ugly up in this room. Yeah, let's get messy. The boxing gloves are in the closet, so if anything, we could pull those out. We can. We could. Let's get it cracking. I'm going to knock you out. I don't think so. I'm going to hit you with a two-piece. I hit you, you hit the floor. Ooh, nope, I don't two think piece. so. And you're not getting a biscuit with it. So, are you ready? I don't even like biscuits. All right, so, first one. Cheating is unforgivable. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with that. Period. I will not forgive you if you were to cheat on me. I, I it, yeah, it's just not happening. That's yeah, I would send your ass to hell. <laughs> yeah, the boxing gloves are definitely coming out this video. I feel it already. Oh, how? If you cheat on me, that's where you going. I don't. I'm you, a child of God. God loves me, so you gonna get sent to the hell. Yeah, they're coming out. I'm telling you guys, stay tuned because the boxing gloves are coming out. It's question number two. Well, not question, but number two. It's okay to get back together with your ex. Disagree. I'm going to go ahead and say disagree because I have personally have done that in the past. If it don't work out the first time, it's probably not going to work out the second time. Just my personal experience. Honestly, I feel like it depends uh, like what the circumstances are. Say, for example... Say I cheated on you. Well, then no. Like, we just answered the first question. Okay. But it's okay in a sense where one person feels like they need to handle things in their life and change. And then, you know, I feel like if it's meant to be, it'll be. And if it comes back together and people grow and change, then sometimes that happens. I don't feel like that's a good enough excuse to break up with someone. Because if I were a good boyfriend or whatever the case is... I wouldn't be stopping you from finding yourself or whatever the heck the thing was. Just... Yeah, but you don't know what people feel personally. Like sometimes a break is needed to grow. I get that. I feel like the only valid excuse is that you need to love yourself before you go to try love someone else. Exactly. That's, sometimes that's the only time where I'd be like a scenario like that is okay to break up and then get back together, or whatever. However, I just don't think that scenario worked out. The one that you said. I I don't know. I I feel like sometimes people break up and I've seen it. They break up because they need to sort some stuff out in their lives, their mental health, things like that. You know, they sort themselves out. They find themselves. They're happy. They're in a good place. And then they're able to share their happiness with their significant other again. There's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. To each their own. To each is their own. Boxing gloves are so Learn how to speak. The boxing gloves are freaking coming out. Oh my God. Number three. You should have your partner's password to their phones and social media accounts. I'm going to go ahead and disagree. <laughs> okay, now you tell me why you need the password to my phone and my social media accounts. You know what? I don't need it. But if I ask you and you be like, what you need it for? You're getting too that deep into is a red flag. it. You're getting in too deep into it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's fine. We have the password to each other's stuff. So like, that's why I said agree. I don't, I say disagree because you don't need that. Especially if you trust the other person. Why do you need their, their stuff? Yeah, but It'd if be I'm asking you. Yeah, if you ask, okay, yeah, I'll give it to you. I don't have a problem with that. However, you don't need my password to my phone or my social media accounts if you trust me no i don't feel like it's necessary so it's i mean not. but in that circumstance i would say agree because if you trust your significant other then i don't i don't get it like, i feel like if you're asking for the password to their stuff you definitely don't trust them and you're trying to find something probably i feel but like maybe you have a reason not to trust them that's different. I, yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Couples don't need to have similar interests to be compatible. Agree. I agree because we are complete Co opposites. Yeah. I was going to say that. Like, However, we are soulmates if we locked in. For and life. Switching up. I kind of <laughs> want to get the boxing gloves out and then like, I feel like that was cringy enough on both of our ends where you could punch me and I could punch you. I feel like that's like equal. <laughs> So, Imagine we both punch each other, we just yeah, knock, we just each, knock other each other out. Like, End of the video. Yeah, we are complete opposites. She's yeah. into a completely different wide of things than I am. Like the spectrums are so far off, it's crazy. Yeah, he likes cars and racing and all that. And me personally, I just like music and dance. And uh, that's pretty much it. I like danger, she likes safety. I do, I do. So yeah, you don't need to have similar interests. Yeah, because we work. They always say opposites attract too. So I'm, I'm a big believer in that one. 
A man should always be the one to propose. I'm not gonna sit here and like just be what's the word I'm looking for? Um, double standard. Like sexist. I'm not, yeah, that I guess I'm not gonna sit here and do that. But I do believe it is the man's job to propose. I'm just a firm believer on that. I'm big on 50/50 in a relationship. However, the man is the one that has to propose. I don't know. Personally, you ain't catch me proposing. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to say it's weird for a woman to propose, but it's definitely not the norm and it's okay to not be normal. However, on my end, I think a man should be the one proposing. In my opinion, I just feel like, I mean, it depends on your relationship. If you're a female and you're like, I want to propose to my man, then go ahead, girl, do you. But personally, I would not do it. Yeah, I mean, this is going to stir up a lot of controversy in the comments. I already see it. Some <laughs> of you guys are going to be mad at that. But yeah, I'm saying the man has to propose. Fight me. I don't know what to tell you. It's okay to go to sleep angry at your partner. You better put this agree. I guess. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I will be petty. Exactly. He I be will petty. go to sleep. Yes, I like I'm And then I'll be in my feelings like I cannot believe he's just going to sleep and like he's I don't mad have time. at me. I don't have the time nor the energy to entertain any BS that's going on because it, let's be honest here. If we are bumping heads or arguing, I don't even say we argue. I would say we bump heads over the dumbest things possible. Mm. I'm not gonna give my time nor energy to something that dumb. No, because you're putting your energy into me. You're supposed to. No. Yes. I'm not gonna entertain something small like we got. In, we started bumping heads because we couldn't come together to figure out what we wanted to eat as far as fast no. food. I'm not gonna give my time and energy to that. Yeah, but we don't argue over that before bed. Like, that's the. That's okay, the if it's something serious where, like, we really got into an argument, I'm not gonna go to sleep angry, nor would I want you to go to sleep angry. Yeah, but if you piss me off before we go to sleep and you don't wanna make it right and you're like, mm, I'm gonna sleep, fuck you. I mean, at the same time, you have to give me time or vice versa to get over it. Okay, but don't go to sleep. At least I you have like to let least, me swallow my pride at that point. No, at least be like, I love you. Good night. That's it. That's all you gotta do. You can still be mad. Be mad if you want to, but at least tell me that you love me. Because if I die in my sleep, you're gonna hate. Okay, but now what are the chances of that happening? It could. You happen. know what? It, it could. You know what? Whatever. It could happen. Whatever. Woman should change their last name when they get married. Disagree, I agree. I disagree because honestly, I don't care if you have my last name or not. We're married. You know what it is for me? I just feel like that is like symbolism of like, that's my husband. Like, personally. But you also would have a ring. I don't care. Or you just want the last name to be like, yeah, I got his last name. I don't know. Is it's it like just that? hard. It's hard for me because like, there's women like my mom. She didn't want to take um her husband's last name because i've been with you for seven like, years seven years that? and i just realized that really <laughs> seven years and i just realized that yeah like my mom is strong on her last name which is great like what's her reason for that she just didn't want the last name i just feel like it's a family thing like all the girls in our family are like oh like we're the jesus but i'm not a de jesus so i can't be like yeah so i can't wait to get rid of my last name personally you want to tell them you want to tell them what your last name is nope I will never say it's it. not that hard guys go you guys can no! find it. go find it on Google comment down below comment down below her last name but no don't comment down below my last name but yeah personally for me I would love to take my man's last name I can't wait till we get married so I can have his last name I'll be like Janice Nyanja Rivera thank you very much then that's how I, how I feel about that <laughs> that sounded hot I'm not gonna lie that sounded nice <laughs> it's okay to be attracted to other people when in a relationship disagree now here is my reasoning you can think someone looks good right however attracted i'm gonna go ahead and take that as Cheating. you want to do something mm -hmm. you want to go and give you give their time or give your time to them you're trying to entertain somebody else yeah are you looking so, like, to do so there should be no attraction you can think somebody looks good we we're not gonna say or act like oh you know they they don't look good yeah we'll be real there's people out there that they look good we're not attracted to them. Yeah, like if you are attracted to somebody and you're in a relationship, 
that means that you gotta bring out the you got eyes for somebody else that's it like or you're getting drifted into temptation in another relationship yes, yes. and that is not good for me it's okay to give in even when you're right as much as it would kill me i'm gonna agree on that you are so hard-headed and stubborn. I'm an Aries. You are so hard-headed and stubborn I'm right for putting even when up I'm to wrong. disagree. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm right you even are, when I'm wrong. You are toxic. <laughs> I don't care. Call me Toxiana. Bro, there's so <laughs> many times where I knew I was right and I just gave in. And I was just like, all right, you're right, all right. There's so many times I've did that in the past seven years. But um, I don't remember. I don't recall a single time when you're right. Exactly my point. <laughs> exactly my point. Last one. This is the tenth scenario. Cheating isn't a mistake. It's a choice. Ooh. What? <laughs> no, I had to. I had to. It was a joke. I had to it was get a joke. Up like... <laughs> it was a joke, Toxiana. Relax. Yeah, agree. Cheating is definitely not a mistake. Whatever you did to cheat was 100% your, your choice. choice. If you're the one that's saying, oh, it was a mistake, it wasn't supposed to be like... You're bro. the mistake, Sigma. No, you probably are the mistake. Yeah, there's no excuse for that, bro. Like, everybody has a choice. You can't say you were tempted and it just happened. No, you can easily walk away, say no, or whatever the case is. There's, exactly. There's no mistake in cheating. That's on period. He said it perfectly. Because I said it perfectly. Uh-huh. Am I going to have a good night tonight? You might. I might. Yeah, cut the cameras. The fact that that just spun on your head <laughs> was everything. That was the highlight of the video right there. That was great. That was a good time. I didn't even see it. That was a good time. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see a part two with some crazier scenarios, drop them down below in the comments, and we'll definitely do a part two. This was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it was fun. Um, You got anything you want to say? No, that's it. We'll catch you guys in the next video.